La Fleur. Luxury fashion brand designed by the king himself, Tyler the Creator. Recently, Golf of Fleur released a new colorway in the Digi Leopard Print sweater vest. And this vest is simply an iconic piece. I mean, we're talking about the BET Award. What's your name music video vest? A legendary piece if you know, you know. A couple months ago, the vest made a public appearance for the first time. And a month after that, the vest became available for purchase. But only in select retailers. And in my case, San Francisco. So, being the crazy person I am, I got in the car, packed up some snacks, and hit the road to SF. And now, here we are. Starting with the exterior of the bag, we have Le Fleur on both sides of the bag. One side is inverted, a very nice touch if you ask me. And inside of the bag, we have the standard Golf of Fleur Digi Camo wrapping paper. Now, you may recognize this print from the Converse collaboration that came out about a, week ago, a week ago. about a week or so ago. And I really, really wanted those, but then I just didn't get them, so yeah. On the plastic wrap, typical warning labels, nothing special. Close up on the barcode for you. Out of the bag, we can see the absolute beauty that this vest has to offer. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous knit. Five seconds on the clock. What do you see inside the camo? Oh, time's up. Now let's take a look at this side. Hopefully you found it. For the measurements we have, shoulder to shoulder, 19 and a half inches. Pit to pit, 22 and a third inches. From the neckline to the hem, 25 and a half inches. And hip to hip, 19 inches. The inside tag has a nice vibrant pink base and white letters that say Welcome to the disco! Here's a close up on the brown flower patch found on the bottom left side. If you take a close look, you'll see that there's four different shades of green on this vest. There's a lighter shade of green along the ribbing on the collar, shoulder, and the bottom hem. That's separate from the green base on the vest. And the lightest shade is found inside the little tiny splotches within the camo itself. On the inside tag, 100% mohair, made in Italy. Okay, so here I'm displaying what the vest looks like pulled all the way down. Or if you prefer, you can tuck it up. Here we can see that the vest actually goes a couple centimeters past my shoulder. Which is kind of a bummer because I went all the way to San Francisco. There was no fitting room in this store. This is what the vest looks like with the button down, which is probably something I wouldn't actually wear, but it was cool to try on. Sorry for the glare from the sun, by the way. I just wanted to see what the silk leopard print shirt looked like with the leopard print vest. And it looks how it looks with the shorts. I didn't bring that many clothes with me this day, so the options were limited. Owning this vest is like owning a cat or a dog in the sense that it's just super duper prone to shit. I decided to take this to Google and find out once and for all if mohair does in fact shed. And yeah, it, it does shed. As you can tell from the close-up footage, this vest is very prone to shed. Sometimes I might have it on and I might get a hair on my lip or a hair in my hair. So it's just something to keep in mind. So overall, I really enjoyed this vest a lot. The only issues I have with it are the shoulders, which are a little too big and the shedding. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I guess I should have got a small, even though in my shirt size and hoodies, pretty much everything else, I'm always a medium. But this, I just, I can't get over this. I can't get over this. I mean, I love this vest. I really love it. I just wish it wasn't so big. Okay. If the shoulder was more like this style um, and just more form fitting, then I would be happier. But um, it is what it is. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and give it a like, maybe leave a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and um, I will try my best to answer them. And until next time, bye.